Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Fridays from the Farm with me, Farmer Chris. So, the goats are home, they're here, they're hanging out, it's hot, so there's not a whole lot of action going on. But that doesn't mean that there aren't curious animal behaviors that we can see around the farm. And I'd like to see if we can capture some of those, try and talk about them, and we'll go from there. These girls exhibited some real curious things the night we got back. I wasn't actually saying anything, and so we'll do a little living on the side. Mm, we're going to shake things around. But, bottom line, we're going to have some fun this Friday. Hope y'all are enjoying it, and that it's been a good week. Appreciate y'all sticking with us. We'll get curious, and we'll get goofy, and we'll have a good time. You don't, you don't need to eat my pocket. You don't need to eat my pocket. What do you think? You want to send us off? Can't you cut? Alright. Stay awesome. Y'all take care. When you see a goat chewing, even when they're not eating directly, that's them ruminating and chewing their cud. Also, goats use their front knees to get up, just like that. I think this is a mix of affection and trying to establish dominance. They hadn't seen each other in quite some time, and so you'll notice them doing a lot of snuggling, but also a little bit of this. around to some of the other animals. I've got a couple of videos of the birds making some funny noises. You might even be able to hear it making some noises now. This guy right here who seems to be screaming at me. What do you think Lucius? All good? Mmm. I imagine he's bellied out because the ground is a little more cool. And when he digs down in this hole here in the shade, I'm sure it provides him with some nice insulation and some nice cool against the ground. Definitely better than being out in the hot sun. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Curious Corner. It is about berries. Farmer Chris, curious about berries. We are right outside of our you pick berry garden and when i say outside i mean outside this fruit these plants that you see are growing are growing out of the garden themselves because back in there it's abundant and full so this was the best place for me to contact something curious so here i have this branch it's leafy it's strong but it doesn't have any berries on it if i go all the way down you can see that it's it's fruitless it's this big branch growing really healthy with no fruit. But then, if I just turn barely to my side, what's that? That is fruit. But, do those look like blackberries to you guys? No, not quite yet. So you can see that this fruit has not come into maturity. These were all blossoms some time ago, and since then they have grown this glorious fruit. This is a primocane. This is a floricane. And they are distinctly different in that the floricane, with its flowers, then produce fruit. The primocane serves a purpose in that certainly it is collecting the sun's energy. But I just thought it was so curious that one plant can have two different arms doing two different things, but contributing to the same outcome. Super curious. I hope you are too. And maybe you have some fruit in your yard that you get to enjoy this week. Y'all take care. Stay curious. Ha! You thought it was done. I had to come back real quick because this has some great examples of the stages on it. Let's take a closer look. So this is what I wanted to capitalize on. You can see here that this is a fresh green fruit and you can barely see the petals of the flowers that are left. And here there's more green and then they are coupled with red. And then right here, down in this shadow, you can see a fruit that has gone from red and is beginning to mature 
into the BlackBerry. And this, I think, is interesting because I also notice in this moment that the darkness of that berry happens to also be in the shade. So I wonder, I'm curious, does shade and sunlight have to do with the maturity of fruits, of berries on a plant? Hmm. Hope you're curious. I know I am. Um, so, I mean, I had to come back one more time. That is going to be a large black tree. Very, very berry right there. Whew. How delicious. <laughs> I asked my dog what 2 minus 2 is. He said nothing. 